Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay. And if you're not new here, welcome back. And welcome to this September vlog. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I have tried to film this intro multiple times at this point and I just can't seem to get it right. So maybe six million times is the charm because that's kind of what it feels like at this point. Um, I think the, my main problem is just that I'm really nervous about coming back to YouTube. Um, at this point, I've already filmed and posted two videos for you. Um, and if you are new here, you probably haven't even noticed that there's a, a thing that's been going on. Um, but if, if you've been around for a while, you'll know that I've been gone since February, and this month is the first time that I've posted anything in a while. Um, needed to take a little bit of a break from social media, multiple reasons for that, and I am gonna talk a little bit about that in this video. So here's the disclaimer. If you're not interested in any of that, then that's fine, I get it. You know, I'm not gonna be talking about pretty subjects. Um, so if you just wanna see the rest of this vlog, feel free to skip ahead. I'm gonna pop timestamps on the screen down below for you now and in the description box down below. Um, if you're sensitive to subjects such as anxiety and depression, um, bereavement, loss, that kind of thing, then again, this is your this is your sort of notice to sort of skip ahead or maybe just come back for the next video. I get it, you know, some people don't want to see doom and gloom, you just want to see the good stuff. That's fine, I'll I'll catch you later. Um, if you've been here for a while though and you are wondering what happened, then I am going to give a little bit of an explanation here. I know I don't owe anyone an explanation, um, although I do kind of feel like I do a little bit, but um, I, I do know that, you know, I don't need to explain myself if I don't want to, but I also feel that it's important to show the other side of life. Um, if we all pretend that we come on camera and if life's just joyous and happy, then, you know, it can make people feel like they're doing something wrong. And I think it's important to show that sometimes life's not all rosy. So I am gonna get into it a little bit. I'm not gonna give full details because one, I'd be here forever. And two, you don't want to know all the gory details, but I'm just gonna give a little bit of a, a rundown of some of the stuff that's been going on. So, starting with February, um, I posted a video in February, I can't even remember what that video was at this point, um, <clears throat> but essentially around about that time, I started to have a little bit of a dip in my mental health. Um, I do struggle a little bit with anxiety and depression, I have done for a while, um, if you're not new here, you've probably heard me talk before about you know, that's the reason I started this channel. Um, so yeah, it's it's been ongoing. Um, I'm not on any medication for it. I've found that I haven't really needed to be over the last few years, but I do still get some sort of ebbs and flows, which I'm told is quite normal. Uh, normally I'm quite good at noticing when I'm having a bit of a dip and I can sort of talk myself out of it using the um, CBT or cognitive behavioural therapy techniques that I, was, I sort of learned during my really bad period um, and normally I can I can sort of bring myself around I just seem to struggle this time around I'm not sure why um, couldn't really put my finger on it I just didn't feel like myself and essentially something had to give um, one thing that I could sort of give myself a break on was YouTube, unfortunately, which made me sad because I do love doing this, but I was starting to feel like I'd got a lot going on at work. I'd got, at home I just wasn't feeling like myself either. And then sort of adding into that mindset of a need to do a video, a need to film, a need to edit, a need to upload. I didn't want to feel like there was something extra that I needed to do um, and when I feel like that the easiest thing is to just go do you know what I need to just give myself a break so that's what I did I was not intending to take as long a break as I did I was very much intending to just take maybe a month off 
um, and then I just I still didn't feel great by March and my son ended up with chicken pox so that was a couple of weeks of him being off school and just generally not feeling very well uh, he's fine but obviously you know when you've got a sick child it doesn't really leave a lot of time for anything else especially if you are working full time as well so I, I just decided okay I'll, I'll wait till the end of March then and then unfortunately I got some bad news about a family member which kind of set me back a bit because I was starting to feel better and then I, that sort of hit me and I, I, I had a proper moment of why, why now, you know, can I not just catch a break and you know, it just, it is what it is, it's, it's not ideal um but then life's not ideal life doesn't wait for you to be in a perfect circumstance before it gives you something else to deal with so that's that we were just starting to wrap our heads around that and um my dad unfortunately and very unexpectedly um passed away um completely out of the blue no one saw it coming he didn't even know it was happening um which you know is is the one comfort that we had throughout the whole of of what's been going on because you know at least he didn't know about it um again i'm not going to go into details but safe to say it was it was very sudden obviously straight away there's there's a lot going on there there's a lot to do there's a lot to think about there's a lot to organize there's the whole sort of grieving process going on and on top of that there was also a lot of guilt grief um my family is not what you would call close um me and my dad didn't have the best relationship um so on top of normal grief there was also a lot of guilt grief and that sort of combination was just not not great um families um i don't know what your families are like and if you've got the kind of family that you're super supportive and pulls together in a crisis then you're probably not gonna be able to relate to what I'm about to say but my in my experience my family is not like that um in my experience you can always rely on your family to make you feel worse in an already crappy situation and that's that's kind of what happened here there has been some some good stuff come out of it me and my brother have sort of reconnected and that's been quite nice. Um, we're just sort of trying to make an effort now to keep that keep that going. But there's just been some other stuff going on behind the scenes that just hasn't been great. Um, so I, it was just it it just wasn't it wasn't a good time for me to come back to YouTube. Let's just let's just put it that way. There was then a little bit of a delay um, before we could sort of have the funeral and that, um, nobody's fault, it was just availability at the crematorium more than anything else, um, so that took us till the end of May, uh, and then just as I was thinking about coming back again, um, my son actually got quite poorly, um, again if you've been here for a while you might have heard me talk about him suffering with his chest quite a lot, he's had a lot of chest infections, my husband's the same, the pair of them, just keep passing coughs and colds backwards and forwards to each other and inevitably one or both of them ends up in hospital. It is usually during the winter months um, but my son decided that summer was the way to go this year and he did actually end up in hospital for a couple of nights. He was quite poorly. Um, we, we sort of had to be rushed up there in an ambulance which was a bit scary hooked up to oxygen which was also a bit scary um it turns out that he's asthmatic which wasn't a massive shock uh but at the same time was like okay bring it on what do we need to do now kind of thing and he's on medication seems to be responding quite well to that so he seems like he's okay now but that was sort of a couple of weeks of just trying to monitor and gauge what was happening and you know 
trips to the asthma clinic just to make sure that the medication was doing what it needed to do it all seems to be fine um he's had another little cough and cold a couple of weeks ago but seems to have seems to have been able to get rid of it himself this time which is a definite improvement so fingers crossed and touching all of the wood I'm hoping he's going to be okay now for the rest of the year. If I can just keep him out of hospital for the rest of the year, oh, that would be that would be amazing. Um, if we can keep my husband out of hospital the rest of the year as well, that would also be be good. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I've got I've got everything crossed for that. So as you can see, there's just been there's been a lot going on, sort of health wise. Just it's just not really been a, a very good time. Um, but I am back, I'm excited to be back, I'm really keen to get back into filming um, and just creating content for you guys again. Um, I'm definitely feeling a lot better in myself now, um, I've sort of worked on quite a few things over the last few months to try and get back to a point where I'm on the level again. Um, obviously I can't promise that I won't have to take a break but hopefully if that happens it won't be as long a break as it has been this time round. Um, but yeah I'm just I'm, I'm keen to just get back into it really. September always feels like a bit of a refresh month for me um, probably because I've got a child in school and you know kids go back to school it kind of feels like a fresh start it's, it's like it's like a brand new year um, so it just felt like the right time to try and come back. Um, I've been trying to sort out this room as well to make it easier for me to film and edit. I'm going to show you some footage in a moment of me putting together this bookcase because I needed some storage in here. It was a bit bleak. I've had a new desk um, so I'm going to show you all of that little area that I've had organised as well because up until, up until August. I didn't even have a desk in here so trying to actually do stuff on my computer for videos was really physically hard going because I was basically just hunched over so being able to sort of get this room organised to a way that I can actually function in here has been really really helpful. Um, so yeah I'm just I'm feeling I'm feeling good I'm feeling refreshed and I'm I'm ready to be back so hopefully you've enjoyed the two videos that I've already posted this month um, if there's anything else that you want to see from me then please let me know and I'll see what I can do um, within reason because you know same as everybody else at the moment money is a little bit tight so if it's like new subscriptions and things like that then that might have to just wait a little while um, but if there's anything you can think of that maybe I can do that's cheap or even better free then i'd definitely be up for hearing those suggestions um but yeah let's let's show you what i did with this and the desk area and then you can see some of the other stuff i've done throughout the rest of september and i'll see you soon today i'm going to be putting together a bookcase I've been trying to sort out this room because it was a mess and that was also getting on top of me. It's still not looking great but if you could have seen this room a few weeks ago it literally looked like a bomb had dropped on it. I now have floor space. I've moved some furniture around so that was where I used to do all of my filming. I had my setup all over there. That has now moved. It's now on the next wall over um and i've had a desk which i didn't have before um let me see if i can show you what i was using okay so before i did just have these chests um just sort of under my window and i had the large one on an ottoman um, and that was where my keyboard was resting and my mouse and then the smaller one I actually had on my window ledge which is looking hideous right now please ignore that um, but that was on the window ledge with my computer monitor on and that just left no leg room it was really uncomfortable to try and edit on and it was killing my back hello phone um, so I needed I needed to make a change so I've I've bought a desk it's looking very messy right now and I'm probably gonna have to blur some stuff out so that I don't 
give too much away um but yeah so i've had this desk um i bought it i've put it together um but i still need some storage so like you can see under here i've still got some books just chilling on the floor under there so i have bought a bookcase it is currently sitting in this box right here um i just opened it up last night it came yesterday i've opened it up last night just to make sure all the bits are in there it looks like it's okay and um i'm going to put this together today and hopefully i'm going to be able to get some stuff off the floor because it is winding me up it's not in any particular order on here i've just thrown books on my main goal was to just get books off the floor which i have now done that pile of books that was sitting in that gap there is now here so that's good um and my next goal is to just sort out this hideous mess that is my desk um, but I'm going to potter around and do that the rest of the day and uh, yeah, I'll give you a glimpse when it's done. Doesn't that look so much better? Oh, it's all tidy. I'm so excited to be able to work in here now. It's just my brain feels so much calmer just looking at this. Um, bookcase, I've rearranged a few things. It's still not perfect. This still needs sorting out. These need organising a little bit better. Um, but yeah, looks looks good, looks better. There is another shelf up there, but it has photographs on um so i'm not going to show that because you know privacy and all that jazz um but yeah so much better the whole room just looks so much better to be honest now but uh but yeah this was the thing that i wanted to get sorted the most and now it's done so good
is the L'Oreal Casting Cream Gloss. Um, I've used this before, I've even used this colour before, but um, I hadn't used this colour for... So it's now the end of September and I thought I'd better just check in and end this vlog. Uh, you can see that I've not really done a massive amount during September. I did get back to filming and I, that was a, so nerve wracking. I don't know why but it really did feel like I was starting all over again like I'd never filmed before in my life. Uh, while I was filming I made so many errors um so many fluffs and bloopers it was it was ridiculous um I really did feel like I was brand new to this whole thing again which is crazy because I've been doing it for a while now um but it just goes to show that when you take a long break you sort of get a bit rusty but uh I'm I'm feeling a lot better about being in front of a camera now so hopefully in October things will go a lot more smoothly so we'll see anyway um i did also go for lunch with my friend which i didn't get a ton of footage from so i'll just pop that up on the screen now while i'm talking to you um but yeah it was the first time that i'd seen him for quite some time uh we went to our favorite place good old bella italia we do love our pasta and you know we did treat ourselves to a small large glass of wine uh while we were there uh yeah it was just really nice to catch up I hadn't seen him for a while as i said and um <laughs> he's a good sport i did do a, a little bit of candid filming and oh, i'm gonna make it clear now he did actually give me permission to include the clip that i've got um but it was just really funny because he thought i was taking a photo and uh, as he's saying i don't give you permission he was joking um he then went and posed for me um he did have a look afterwards and i will say he did he did actually give me permission um but yeah it was just it was really nice to just be able to see him again and catch up and just put the world to rights as we always do have our little rabbit hole conversations as we call them um so yeah other than that didn't really do much hopefully october will i'm gonna say be eventful but i think we need to be careful on that don't we um hopefully it's eventful in the right way and there are there is something that i can show you at the end of october um but yeah as for september that's that's all I guess all that's left to say for now is I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.